This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hi everyone, I'm Bianca from WordTesters.com. As you can see, we made it outside today and I'm gonna be talking about the Nike Pegasus 35. So let's get into it. It's an engineered mesh throughout the entire shoe. It also has double flywire that's gonna hold your foot down to the footbed of the shoe. Another feature that I like on this shoe is the sloped heel. It's angled away from your Achilles, so it's supposed to prevent chafing. So I know that I've had some shoes that have done some damage to the back of my Achilles. They've left some scars, and so far the shoe has not bothered me, so that's been a plus. So getting into the tooling of the shoe, it features a full length Zoom Air unit that sits on top of a Cushlon midsole. In the past, the sole has been Phylon, but now they changed it to Cushlon, and that's supposed to make it a lot more bouncy, and it gives you that nice spring to your step. So if you look at the bottom of the shoe, it has a nice rubber outsole, and that's gonna provide a lot of durability. However, the shoe is still light. What keeps the shoe light is the fact that they've cut out a lot of it, and that's really noticeable while you're wearing it. All right guys, so now for the fun part, I'm gonna take these shoes on a run, so come on with me. Okay everyone, so I've had these shoes for a couple days now. I've ran in them, I've also trained in them, done some quick circuits, and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Overall, it was a really comfortable shoe to run in. It has a lot of cushion. I was a little worried about it at first because the shoes that I normally run in have less cushion, but it was bouncy and it was still really light. Personally, I think that having the lift in the shoe helped bring me forward, kind of give me a spring to my step. I also liked how that felt when I ran. It's a little narrow, so I had to go half a size up. But other than that, the shoe is really comfortable. Another thing that I enjoyed about this shoe was the engineered mesh. Makes the shoe really breathable, really flexible, because I know that my feet could get pretty hot while I'm running, while I'm sprinting. Even though Nightwing told me not to, but I still managed to get some sprints in because I want to do my cardio today. Can you blame me? All right. These shoes are also nice for running outdoors and in different environments. I was out here on the concrete and the traction felt really good on the shoe. It's nice knowing I have a lot of rubber. It's durable and it just feels really good while you're running on it. It's just sturdy and it feels like a reliable shoe overall. I really like it. So for those of you who don't know, the Pegasus has been around for 35 years and this shoe is known for being a good running shoe and for $120, it's a really good deal. You're gonna get really good tech and performance wise, I think it just meets all the requirements that you need in a running shoe. So that basically takes care of it for the Pegasus 35. Again, I'm Bianca from weartesters.com. Thanks for coming outside with me today, taking a little jog. If you guys take any pictures in these, make sure to tag it, hashtag Wear testers woman, so I can show you guys some love on the Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time.